असलम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू साइंस क्लास टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू चैप्टर थर्टीन ऑफ योर साइंस बुक दैट इज साउंड स्टूडेंट्स टिल नाउ वी हैव लर्न दैट साउंड इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय वाइब्रेटिंग ऑब्जेक्ट्स राइट सो हाउ डू वी प्रोड्यूस साउंड वेन वी स्पीक डज एनी पार्ट ऑफ आर बॉडी वाइब्रेट लेट्स फाइंड आउट स्पीक लाउडली फॉर अ वाइल एंड पुट योर हैंड ऑन योर थ्रोट डू यू फील एनी वाइब्रेशन Yes you have a voice box in your throat region the sound is produced by the voice box or the larynx it is at the upper end of the windpipe two ligaments called vocal cords are stretched across the voice box or larynx in such a way that it leaves a narrow gap between them for the passage of air right when the lungs force air through the narrow gap the vocal cords vibrate resulting in the production of sound muscles attached to the vocal cords can make the cords tight or loose when the vocal cords are tight and thin the sound produced is of a higher pitch or frequency on the other hand when the cords are loose and thick the sound produced is of lower pitch or lower frequency the frequency of a sound produced by women and children is higher than the frequency of the sound produced by men do you know why because men have longer vocal cords than women and children the vocal cords in men are about 20 mm long in women these are about 15 mm long children have very short vocal cords understood so this is the reason why the voices of men women and children are different let's understand the working of vocal cords to produce sound through an activity take two rubber strips of the same size place these two rubber strips one above the other hold the two ends of the rubber strips in your hands and stretch them tight keep the stretched rubber strips in front of your mouth and blow air through the thin gap between them as the air blows through the stretched rubber strip a sound is produced this sound is produced by the vibrations of stretched rubber strips when air rushes through the thin gap between them our vocal cords produce sound in similar way understood 